Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm in beautiful Grenada. I just picked up this coral, it kind of looks like a fan. I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. Um, if you're finding I look different, I got, this is called a, I don't know, what, it's called a mark. It's kind of like a, it's like a hairstyle in Trinidad and Tobago. So I got a haircut before I came here to Grenada. That's my stuff over there. <laughs> okay, so like there's this cool cave in the back here. I went there, but the only problem is like there's a bunch of seaweed, like green. Oh my god. I was just making sure. I was making sure I didn't um, step on this like cactus seaweed. I, mean, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seaweed. But this cave is so awesome, and there's this like cool tree. It looks kind of like a bonsai tree, but it's not. But yeah. Such a nice beach, guys. Oh my god, look. I'm so, so happy that I came here. Like, Grenada is amazing. If you guys haven't been, I highly, highly recommend it. Here's a cave. I think it just could be a thumbnail because I look half decent. My thumbnails are so bad. If you guys like my thumbnails, like, let me know in the comment section below. But, oh my god. You know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna go in the cave. like water. It's really cool. I feel like I look so different with like all this like clean shavenness. This is this is a travel vlog. We're not gonna be talking about feelings today. We're just exploring. Freaking seaweed. This is the seaweed I'm telling you guys. Ah! I hate how, oh god, I hate how the seaweed feels. So, we're here at the. Okay, guys, I'm getting out of here because it's freaking seaweed, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. Okay. And there are crabs here, and I've gotten bitten in a crab. I've got bitten by a crab before, so. We're not doing that again. But yeah. I just have to go in the cave and show you guys. Here's that freaking cactus I was telling you about. It's like a cactus hybrid seaweed. Cactus seaweed hybrid. Who knows? In my last vlog, I didn't hold the camera properly, so I'm like extending. Guys, I've made some investments. I bought a selfie stick so when I'm back to the states oh, people are making out Let's freak out. it's really windy I left my stuff there see this is a problem with me very forgetful guys like look how this is wow. it's amazing I'm truly blessed to be here to be alive I just see the problem is when I love something I just want to be here all the time I get sad thinking about going home and I never so how am I gonna vlog and carry all this stuff Let me just see if I could show you guys how it looks. And I'm sure I could see if anyone's gonna interfere with my stuff. So. Well, that was a waste of walking. Bear with me, guys. I'm not the best vlogger, but hopefully I have some redeeming qualities that make up for it. So, I bought a selfie stick, tripod thingy. 
that I can start using for future vlogs that are out in public. So, yeah. The wind. I'm probably going to piece together the vlogs, but I thought this place was vlog worthy because of that cave. And yeah. So I'll check you guys out. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm so weird. I'll see you guys on the next part of this vlog. So I'm going to like piece together this part right here. Okay. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. I have to show you this like end part of the beach. Look at all these like cool cactus over there. Yeah, sorry, I was just focusing the screen. Oh. And look at this water, it is amazing. Wow. I'm like the worst travel guide ever. Like I don't even know what the name of this beach is. So, but we're exploring together. Hopefully you guys like these travel vlogs. This is what I like to do when I go to a new island. Just explore beaches. Wow. And every beach is unique. Like, I've never seen this before. Like, cactus on the side of a beach. That's pretty unique, so... Hope you guys liked it, and hope you guys find this place really beautiful. If anyone knows the name of this beach, or if anyone has been to Grenada before, let me know. Oh, I keep snapping pictures. Oh wow. It's already too late, I got my feet wet, so. Just embracing the beauty of this beach and life and all that stuff, so. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll piece together this with other, like I don't know how I'm gonna do this, so I'm just piecing together everything. Hey guys, I know this vlog may be super frustrating because I keep cutting in and out. But basically, like, every little thing I'm exploring, I'm sharing with you guys. So I found this place super beautiful and decided to share. Like, wow. So, I hope you guys like these travel vlogs. I don't know. I don't know what my, my channel doesn't really have a... The wind. So my channel doesn't really have a kind of set topic, which I like. So basically I could share anything with you guys. And travel is a big part of my life. You know, like I try to do it. It's one thing that makes me happy. So that's why I continue to do it. Um, I'm truly like astonished right now, like how beautiful this, this beach is, and this island is. I'm gonna go, I don't know if you guys saw where the like cactus and stuff was. I'm gonna go take a swim there. I'm really excited. Um, right now I'm sitting on these like, these rocks and stuff, so, yeah. It's so relaxing. This is what I love in life, like just being around nature, relaxing, exploring new places, you know. Not, not all that superficial stuff, you know, like, this is my idea of fun, being around nature, like, look at all this. This is gorgeous. I was making, when I was, like, looking over, I was making sure, oh, shit. Literally, see that? Oh, wait, that shit. I was making sure that I wasn't sitting by the shit. And guess what? I am sitting by the shit. That's a mood. Um, 
let's see if I could give you a quick life update here for a week. Uh, then I'm gonna go back home. I'm not excited about that. I hope I hope my mood doesn't change when I go back home. I hope that I stay happy and positive. Like just to let you know, just removing stress from my life, being somewhere outside of my environment, I've lost like 12, 12 pounds, around 12, 13 pounds, just from being in a different setting. Like I am exercising, like I do run on the beach, but um, I haven't really changed my eating much. So I know it's not being stressed out. Like my mood has been better. I haven't been as depressed. Like I do get depressed here and there, but it's not like huge depression, like crippling depression like I've witnessed or not witnessed that I've gone through. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like I'm happier here just being in the Caribbean. Like I hope one day, like I hope one day God really blesses me just like being able to live here and explore islands that's all i want to do honestly like i would never get sick of this to be honest like being around all this nature and stuff just gives me energy and life so if you guys are on the fence about traveling exploring if you're worrying about money do what i do save up and keep your eye on the prize this is like my big prize like i like i said in other vlogs i don't do much in my life when i'm in the states like besides I don't know I don't do anything really so this is this is what I choose to do with my money I love it so um I feel like these vlogs have no point but I hope you guys like it you know like I don't know what I'm talking about like I do know what I'm talking about but at the same time I'm just like so engrossed in this environment that you know like I'm just somewhere else I'm in the beach right now so I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys, like, you know, catch up a little bit and let you know how my trip is going. Today's day one, so I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can. I may do one or two parts of Grenada, depending on how much footage I record, so. Guys, I'm back. I just went for a swim and it was so amazing and refreshing. I had a headache going into it and it's gone now. I didn't know that, oh, out of focus. I didn't know that swimming can cure headaches. I guess it was because the water is like really cool and refreshing, but it was like just what I needed. So I'm gonna hang out here a little bit, get some sun since I'm low on vitamin D. <laughs> um, and then I have no idea where I'm going for dinner tonight. I usually stay all inclusive, but this time I rented a condo here instead of doing like an all inclusive resort. Because it was such a last minute trip, everything was booked. So. But yeah, guys, um, the swim was amazing. Having such a good time. I'm sorry if like I have nothing to say in these vlogs. I'm just trying to like share my experiences and document this trip. So um, I'm gonna go back and be a beach bum. So that's my new um, title, Alex the Beach Bum. I'm not over it right now. I'm a beach bum. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here in Grenada, one of Grenada's most popular beaches. It's called Grand Pants Beach. This is like the most distinguishable feature of it. I guess there's like the towns and the end. So I wanted to just show you guys this beach. Um hello. the sun. It's very bright. I'm enjoying my trip. I'm just kind of sad because it's almost over. I don't want to go back home. But also, cooking and stuff here isn't really fun because I'm used to, you know, doing like all inclusive. So I've been, um, it's been a challenge to eat as well because yesterday I went to a restaurant and it's really, really hard for vegetarians to eat, you know, like, just in general. I mean, in the States, it's easier because I know my options, but whenever I travel, um, it's definitely a challenge. So yesterday on the menu, I saw something called, uh, I think it was called like a vegetarian flat, an 
all I literally got was like three falafel balls and then salad and then like roasted um, eggplant and like these are like little cups of hummus and then like three small triangles of pita bread and I'm like seriously this is like what I'm supposed to call my dinner because I asked them if it was like a large enough portion for dinner and they're like yeah yeah but it honestly felt like rabbit food so I'm kind of starving I'm hoping today that I'll have better luck with my food but other than that I mean I'm having a really good time I, I just was swimming in the ocean and I'm like I'm trying to dry off on this um, little step thing so, I don't know what it's called like a mini jetty I don't know so, or mini dock so yeah it's such it's really beautiful let me see if I can show you guys how it looks Like the, this is the most popular beach here in Grenada. So. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this beach. I might vlog again on this beach, but like if I have enough time, because I'm trying to explore other beaches. So yeah, and I'm like squinting because I'm facing the sun, but then like if I was the other direction, the beach wouldn't look that good. So hey guys, I'm back. So. I'm still at the same beach and I feel so much better. My previous clip, if you want to say, I was really, really tired. My blood sugar levels were low because I haven't been eating that well here. So luckily there was a pizza hut right next to this place. I ordered a calzone and french fries and now I'm back to my normal self so and it was really really good I wish I could have done a mukbang but I don't have a like a mount to use to record so that didn't happen but now I'm just here on this lounger umbrella chilling. But yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs> so tomorrow, I might go to a waterfall. And if I do end up going, I'll be sure to record it. I, don't, I can't keep up with the amount of times I went into the ocean today, so... Um, people think I'm recording them. I'm not. So it's a little awkward vlogging in public. So... I think what I'm going to do tomorrow is probably go to the waterfall and then after that probably explore some like beach hop, like go from beach to beach to beach, like explore all the nice beaches here. So I'm enjoying myself, don't want this to end, but well, I guess all good things must come to an end, so there's that. I think what I, what most like what I'm most worried about going home is like I feel like I, I feel like all of this will just feel like it was just a distant memory and I'm not going to sorry it's like I feel so weird talking about these things so I feel like this might feel like a distant memory and I might fall back into my old pattern of living like all depressed and stuff and I don't want that for myself but I have a feeling that I will because I've I've been to these kind of trips before oh shit I don't know if I was blocking the mic uh, so I feel like I'll just go back into like a depressive state and then all of these like experiences will just be a distant memory I don't know sometimes life isn't fair like I this might sound weird but ever since I was like a small kid I would I'd have dreams about 
being on an island. It was the most random dreams. Not have these dreams all the time. And I had no re like no really big connections to any islands, so it was something really far-fetched and random. And look at me now, you know, like I work I work and like I work marketing the Caribbean, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but so now I have like a connection to the Caribbean and I at least visit once or I would say anywhere from one to three times a year. So I mean, it's not bad, but when you feel like some, like when you feel like a place is home and you're not there all the time, it just kind of sucks having to go back and forth. And especially if you're somewhere where you don't want to be it just makes it worse. I'm sure a lot of you are like wondering why I'm still in Arizona. It's because I have responsibilities. I can't just up and go, you know, so. But until maybe one day I'll be able to, so. I don't know. I'm just trying to enjoy my time here as much as I can, because I know my days are numbered. No, it sounds sad, but it's life. Life is sad. It's also happy because I experience some happiness here, so I know it's not all shit. You know, so. I'm sorry if I'm like being depressing, guys. I'm just I don't know. I'm, I feel conflicted, you know. The more and more I come to the Caribbean, the more and more I want it, you know, the more I want to be here. There's something about being in nature that just makes you forget about everything, you know? Makes you forget about all, all your problems and worries and stressors and stuff. And I want to know, like, how it feels to be here for, like, a long extended time. Like, the most I've stayed in the Caribbean is probably, like, eight weeks. So, this trip, I think, was, like, six six to seven weeks, I don't know. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry if, like, this was kind of, like, depressing, but I'm being real here. I'm not sugarcoating anything. It's how I feel right now, so. And I think I need my coffee, so that's, like, something to look forward to, is, like, being able to drink espresso again, because I haven't had a proper macchiato or espresso drink this whole time. So I think that'll be something to look forward to. But other than that, you know, like this place is heaven. So anyway, on a positive note, some more to look forward to, hopefully. Um, this whole vlog's a mess, so sorry in advance. You guys know I'm not the best YouTuber. So... The bar is set low. So yeah. I'll check in with you guys soon. Excited for whatever time I have left here. So, see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, my hair is kind of... It looks loud. I didn't really fix it, but I'm here at Mon me of my time in Antigua. The water, if you remember, was like this, but the same color. I have to make sure I'm in I'm a little sleepy today. I didn't really sleep well last night. But I'm gonna probably stay here all day or I don't know. It's, I mean, like, super beautiful and I think I'll take a swim a little bit. But yeah, it's gorgeous. So, I was initially gonna go to the waterfalls today. I'm always squinting. The reason why I'm facing the sun is because the water looks best in this angle. So, see if I do it this way. It kind of darkens, but I'm not squinting. Maybe we'll do it this way for a little bit since you saw it that way. So yeah, this is probably gonna be my last vlog in Grenada because I want to just 
enjoy my time here and not really be about documenting everything. Hey guys, so I've never done this before. I would fear for my phone falling into the ocean, but I'm only doing it because the water is somewhat calm and it's shallow. So shallow like a lot of people I know. Not me though. Not us. We're not shallow. So but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like how nice this water is. It is amazing. So um it's hot. What's really nice about the water, it's like the minute you get in, you instantly like feel relaxed. All your worries and your stressors and anything that might be going on just like vanishes. With basically like each, <laughs> it might sound cheesy, but like each wave that passes by, it's like you, you forget less or you forget more and more and more until you're just here soaking up beautiful sun, water, just enjoying life. You know, this is what life is supposed to be. Not like being glued to an office desk and chair and I don't know, like, that's not life. You know, life is about experiences and memories. Waves almost knocking you down. Sorry if this is awkward, I'm just trying to like film properly. Yeah. So if anyone wants to know, this beach is called Moon. Moon Rouge, I think. So. And this is Grenada. Whoa. Um, this honestly reminds me of he does so much. This water is like amazing. So yeah, I guess you guys get the idea of how gorgeous this is. Do one little spin. So you guys see the beach. More spin this way. So, yeah. All right, so I'll put this in somewhere in the vlog. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh god, I'm always by a dumpster. It's over there. Reoccurring theme in my vlogs. So yeah, today's gonna be a beach day. It's gonna be here relaxing. May might go for a couple swims. I've gotten really tan, so I guess I'll take that home as a souvenir. I usually what's funny is like I stay tan probably for like Maybe like two, three months. That's how long like my tan would last, but I could slowly fade back to being like pale and stale. So, so yeah, I just wanted to do one little last clip here, and I guess this will be the end of my travel vlog. So it was fun while it was lasted. Wait, it was fun while it lasted. But yeah, my days of happiness are numbered, so my trip's almost over, but it's not goodbye, it's, what is it, it's not goodbye, it's, um, see you soon or see you later, is that the cheesy line someone created to help people cope with separation anxiety, who knows? So... Hope you guys enjoyed all these vlogs. This is probably gonna be like an outro at Long Rouge Beach. So if you guys liked all these travel vlogs, I'll be sure to do more next on my next trip. Be sure to give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave some comments down below. So until next time guys.